Oh, sunny day. Oh man, look at my papayas. Those things are doing great. All right. It's good that it's a sunny day today because I've got something. I've been doing so much grunt labor lately. Just dirty stuff and digging and standing in the mud. And, uh, I really want to cut some wood today on my lumber mill. And yesterday I went and found this uh, white mangrove tree that had fallen down. And I cut it up into some pieces and brought these up. And I don't think termites got to any of it. Oh, no, they did a little bit, maybe. Yeah, we got a soft spot in there. That's, a, that's the skinniest part, though. Man, there's a soft spot in here, too. Uh, maybe that explains why it came down. All right, this is the biggest log. All right, no soft spots there. And let's check this end. Oh, this end looks, seems to be all solid. Well, at least this one is solid all the way through. That's good. And this is the second one. And, ah, yeah, maybe this is just garbage. I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut it back a little bit and see how far this nonsense goes. Whatever though, I've got the biggest piece. Looks like it's in great shape. And I cut it to just over eight feet long, like uh, two and a half meters-ish. I'm gonna get it in here and see if I can cut some nice boards. I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm cutting yet. Okay, I cleared my kids toys out of here. I've been thinking about how I'm going to move bigger logs. Obviously, I can't pick up huge logs like this. Don't go behind the thing. Go under the All right, I think that's lined up. And I think I'll try cutting the top off first. Yes. Try that. Oh no, I don't want to cut that much at once though. So. Alright, let's work our way into it. Do a small cut first. Clean off the solar panels and all, and I look alright.
I'm having some cloud issues since this runs directly off solar panels with no batteries or storage of any kind. Anytime a little cloud comes by, it slows me down. Right now I've got patchy clouds, but I haven't had to stop yet, just slow down, so keep going. Okay, this is a reenactment because Jamie accidentally erased the clip for this part. So, uh, I'm Jamie and I was out here cutting wood with my saw, do 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 do. But then clouds kept, kept getting in the way of my solar panels for my saw, so I couldn't do any cutting. So, I went and did some digging and I was like, yeah, I'm doing some digging. And, oh, let me flex my muscles. Oh, check them out, check them out. Oh, check out my muscles, ladies. Frog, frog, what are you doing? Um, showing the ladies my muscles. No, no, no women don't watch this channel. Well, maybe that's because you don't show enough skin, baby. Can you just stick to the script? Uh, or you're fired. Okay, okay, so I was, so I was digging, and like, I was like, why doesn't this saw uh, work better and stuff? And I was like, yo, I got some ideas for modifications I've been meaning to do. So I did the modifications, and I was like, yeah, let me get this part and flex my muscles. Uh, uh, frog! Uh, like and subscribe. Okay, first, here we are over at the blade, right? And the blade did have a bit of a wobble. So as it was spinning around, it would, you know, um, not a lot, just a little bit. And that's, it's just because when I made it, my, like my daughter was turning that around while I held an angle grinder here to, you know, line it up. So it didn't come out perfect. So I just took the blade off and the nut, turned the saw on so it was spinning real fast and took an angle grinder and very slowly went up till it was like And at that point when it was going that meant it was smooth running. So now the blade, the blade does not wobble. It is very straight. Yeah, that is looking good. So that means it cuts a thinner line now because when it wobbled, it, it was cutting a line maybe twice as twice the blade thickness. So now it's cutting half as much wood. So that definitely speeds things up. The downside of that is when you're cutting a thinner line, it leaves more chance for the wood to bind up on the on the blade. But yeah, whatever. Okay, and the, and the second thing I did was I reduced the number of teeth on this blade. See, there's missing teeth now. Um, I just kept every fourth tooth. So I cut three out, kept one, cut three out, kept one, cut three out. And this was a 40 tooth blade and now it's a 10 tooth blade. And to do it, I just, you know, touched them with an angle grinder real quick. And just scored them and then they snapped off pretty easily. It only took a few minutes to do. I mean, I did it in my workshop, not right here. Um, and then I put it back on. And, you know, I knew there was going to be some, some Im improvement in performance, but wow, wow, so, oh, so much better. And it was already getting pretty late in the day. So this saw runs on solar panels, which are, you know, right up here. So the morning sun comes in and between like nine and noon, I get good sun on these panels and I, I can cut pretty good, right? 
And maybe if I stretch it, if I have, you know, a relatively soft piece of wood, I can cut till maybe like one. But at that point, the, you know, the sun's coming in at an angle. It's not, not that much of the sun's hitting the solar panels. Um, but I was cutting with this blade on this super hard piece of wood. I just made a cut at 230. It's crazy. And it went through easier than, than I was doing before. And you can see the difference. Up here is a pretty fat cut. Well, partly this is because the wood is warping because it's wet and I cut it. But the, you know, the, the old cut was almost that wide. But then you can see from about here down, like it's a much thinner cut. That's, that's the new cut. And when I was using all 40 teeth, this is my, wait, where is it? This stuff. All right, now I've got other stuff on top. Let's get the stuff under here. Like this, this was my sawdust, you know, this, these little bits, right? But then I switched teeth and, well, I reduced the number of teeth. So each tooth is getting a lot more wood. It's, it's you know, taken off. It's like a little planer now. Instead of, instead of kind of like sanding through the wood, just getting little tiny bits, it's like, you know, slicing out chunks. So, now it does take more force for each tooth to cut a deeper cut each time. But it's not like four times the amount of force. And there's only one, uh, one quarter of the, the, the number of uh, teeth there were before, right? So even if it takes twice as much energy to make a little bit deeper cut, that's still going to be half the amount of energy it needs overall because there's, there's a quarter of the number of teeth. And then it's also making a, a skinnier cut. So I estimate, I estimate I need about a quarter as much energy as I did before to make a cut now. So I should be able to cut four times as deep. Maybe not quite four times as deep because the deeper you get, the more, more binding you get on the blade. But yeah, I should be able to cut a lot faster and a lot deeper now, which is awesome. Um, Are you going to cut the last one? No, I can't cut anymore. It's too late now. The sun's like way over there. It's not... Using my son asking me questions. Um, don't don't play with this thing. I don't want any other blade ever. Remember. Um, I'm also really curious to see what the the cut looks like. Because when I had the 40 tooth blade, it would cut a really nice, smooth cut, like ridiculously smooth, like way smoother than I need. But I think it's still going to cut a pretty smooth cut, even with with the 10 teeth. So, anyway, now I'm just excited for hopefully a sunny day tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow morning I can come out here and just whip through some of this stuff and oh it's like a, it's like a brand new machine oh I cut through so oh I'm so excited I hope we get sun tomorrow are we gonna, gonna get sun tomorrow the forecast called for sun tomorrow well let's see well we'll wait and see tomorrow